No, that's on your right. That's on your left, sir? Oh, that's to your right. That's to your left, sir. Oh, welcome aboard, Private. On leave? Uh, yeah, it's my first one. Well, I hope you enjoy your flight. I will. All right, everybody, stay cool! This lady's gonna get it! Get out of here now! Get those packages Ooh. in here right now! Come on! Move! Move! In, 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 in! Move! Come on! Bring her in! Come on! Bring her! This is a freedom fighter from the United People's Resistance. We have just commandeered Beller Flight 267 and demand permission for immediate takeoff on runway 24. This is Beller Flight 267. Priority clearance requested. Permission for takeoff denied. Stand by. Beller 267 has been commandeered by the United People's Resistance. You either clear us for immediate takeoff or we start shooting the passengers. Contact Mr. Beller, put the call right through. As soon as they gave us their demands, they cut off radio contact. Have we been able to reach Mr. Beller yet? No, he's still fishing off the coast of Greece somewhere. And we're out of options. We must call in the FBI. Listen, you heard what they said. You call in the feds and they'll start killing the passengers. Calm down. You read the computer printout I got on that Jackson. The FBI thinks he pulled that Brinks job in Jersey last year. The guy's a real nut job. Now he wants five million in cash. Plus guaranteed passage to Libya. I say we give it to him. The replacement cost on the jet alone is $50 million. Plus all the bad publicity we'll get out of this. Can't. Not without Beller's OK. Meanwhile, we can't just sit on our hands. What about those guys you told me about? What'd you call them, uh, the A-team? As soon as I heard, I put out the word. I've got some contacts in some Vietnam veteran activist groups. But uh, so far, it's a dead end. I think they're probably just a rumor. You got an uh, order from uh, Sam's Deli. You got a uh, bacon and cheese That's and mine. a turkey and tomato. Uh, Oh, right, there you go, and uh, tomato and uh, turkey, that's yours, sir, and we got a few different... Black coffee here. Right, God, call me black view, sir, yes, sir. Uh, the right, here. black coffee right there, and there's coffee with uh, cream. Here's your cream, sir, thank you. Oh, sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. What's the matter with you, for crying out loud? Right, and we got some soda here. You owe me $16.18, so don't mind having a tip either, Val. See you later. Just a minute, mister. Back in soda here, it's great for staying. Stay away from me, I oh. don't want your help. I thought you wanted to hire the A-team. This is crazy. No, it isn't. Help us, please! Help us! Now you try that again, lady, and you're dead. Beller 267, do you read? Over. This is Rourke, Thomas. Open up. So, how are they doing? <laughs> They're pretty freaked out, but no one's panicking yet. Well, when this sucker hits the ocean, they'll panic. Beller Airways Flight 267 to operations. Come in, operations. This is operations, Beller Air 267. Switch to security channel 9 Delta. I want to talk to the man. Right now. I'm losing patience. Where are those guys? Smith gave me his word the A-team will be here. Mr. Beller's out raising the rest of the five million. He'll be with you as soon as he can. Well, he better get it. Otherwise, we're going to turn his plane into a boat. What am I supposed to do while you guys are up in the air? Now, you're our liaison with the ground. If Lynch gets a spotlight on us, we're gonna have to get out of there quick. So don't leave Beller Operations Room. Okay. Uh, I don't know, Colonel. This reminds me of the time you fixed me up with that blind date who later turned out to be the General's wife. Oh, no, Face. 
I'm Edward Beller III, the president of Beller Airlines. You're my executive vice president. We give them the five million ourselves as hostages when they turn over the passengers. Then we overpower them, and uh, Murdoch flies us home. Ah, we just overpower them. Right. We assume an offensive posture. Military history has taught us that conflict is merely the seizing of space from one's aggressor. They've got the space up there. We've got the offensive posture down here. So the two of us assume an offensive posture against six guys with guns in an airplane at 35,000 feet over the ocean. Well, it's the application of the theory that's interesting. I don't know. Do you think you look enough like Beller? Of course I look enough like Beller. What's the name of the guard? Scotty. Watch Scotty. Good afternoon. I got the big guy in back. What do you say, Scotty? How are the wife and kids? Oh, just fine, Mr. Beller. Good to see you, sir. I don't know, Larry. This guy doesn't look a lot like Beller to me. Save the range, friend. You got the money? Miss Allen was part of the A-team. She'll be our liaison with the ground. If the feds are tipped, we're gonna need some warning. There are a couple of guys in the military who'd like to see us again, preferably behind bars. It's not that we don't trust you. But we don't trust anybody. You talked to the hijackers? You said not to. Good. Get them on the radio. This is Operations to Bel Air Flight 267. Bel Air 267. This is Edward Beller. Oh, finally. You get the money, pal? I have it. Good. Now, put us on a final approach and put the money in a fuel truck at the end of the runway. We'll pick up a full load of fuel and we'll release the hostages when we get to Libya. No deal. Oh, come on now, pal. Don't pull out on us now. We're prepared to dump this thing in the ocean. We'll let you have the money, but we want an exchange of hostages. Their safety is our first concern. You release the passengers, and myself and the vice president of Bel Air will come aboard with a $5 million ransom. Now, what if I say no? You're running out of fuel, pal. That's it. I don't say another word. Well, what if he doesn't buy it? He wants the money. This is Bella 267. Clear us for immediate approach. Runway 7 right. 267 requesting permission to land. <laughs> It's going to be tough dropping the pedaling out of the monocoque. Got struts everywhere. And that opening is going to be hard for you to squeeze through. Hey, I'll just shrink down and squeeze through the cracks. I thought you said you wouldn't crazy anymore. Only on paper. Look, man, I want you to take a long time filling up the wing tanks, because I need some time in there. I don't want to wind up in the sky in an airplane. I'm sorry, but nobody is loud in the house except in the kitchen, and there ain't no restroom in the kitchen. Now, if you uh, if you want to use the one down here by the pool, it's been set up for guests for you. Thank you. You look just like that guy in Lucy's in Saigon. Well, you look like Lucy. VA, you now get the cake. Be careful with that. It took me hours to bake it. It's only cardboard food. It's not a real cake. Some people have no appreciation for art. Hi there. Hannibal, this is not going to be real simple to pull off. This ranch is set up like Fort Knox, and the guests include the sheriff and the mayor. What about the inside? Beats me. Nobody can get in there. Well, they got to let the caterers into the kitchen. Right. VA, you check out the kitchen, see if we can get the inside from there. Amy? You shoot the layout of the house from the outside. The chef, mingle around, find out which guests are carrying weapons. And face, 
you get to find the bride. You bet. And what are you going to be doing? No, oh, just tinkering around. Excuse me. Where did you come from? What kind of stupid question is that, fool? I brought the cake. But we already have a cake. Well, you got another one. I see. Well, take your cake and put it on the back table behind my buffet. And here. Serve these drinks to the guests on your way out. What are you doing back here? This area is off limits to guests. Oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Nuptial photos. I was just trying to get a feel for the place, you know, so that I can choose the best backgrounds for the portraits later. Yeah, well, no one's allowed in the house right now. We don't want to disturb the bride. Oh, no problem. Could I just have a picture of you, please? Smile. How you doing? Uh, these are from Miss Taylor. Beautiful, aren't they? They're from her best friend, Tracy. Uh, nobody's allowed upstairs. I uh, will see that she gets them. Right. Thanks. How's the catering service? Mm. We can forget about the kitchen, man. It's guarded. Ain't no way we're getting in back there. Now we're not getting in from the front, either. The goons in the tuxedos are armed. Here, lady. Time of fuel. Well, are you nervous, old boy? Now, why in the heck should I be nervous when I'm marrying someone who means more to me than anything ever has? That Jackie definitely is one fine woman. If only her father could have been here today to share this day with us. And see how happy his little girl is. Got some flowers for you from Tracy. Hey, uh, shouldn't you ought to be getting dressed? I mean, that wedding's about to start down there. Buzz off, clown. I'll get dressed when I'm good and ready. Uh, she's in one of these rooms upstairs. This trellis should hold you and Murdoch. Murdoch does not climb trellises. Murdoch is a designer of pastry. <coughs> Murdoch, are you catching cold? No, he's coughing because he ate the shaving cream off the phony wedding cake. The man is a nut. That's our cue. Get her, now. Hey, finish that and get on out of here. That's right. Uh, Tracy hired us to come again. Oh. Let's go, Jackie. They're starting to play the music. Where is she? Everybody's seated. We're ready to go. Yeah, she's just taking her good old time. Are you sure she's in there? She ran off once. <coughs> well, it's about time.
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This is the wildest thing I've ever done. You guys are crazy. Speaking of Murdoch, where is he? Do you, Jacqueline Lee Taylor, take this man, Calvin Cutter, to be your lawful wedded husband? Well, I didn't go through all this to see how I looked in white. Thanks for coming. I love your dress. Now we ain't. Lindo, get her. Come to me, my precious. Come on, kid. You stop at the front gate. Come on with me. Wow! Another touchdown! Wow! Can't you hear a woman in distress? Ah! Tell Sheriff Gillis to set up a roadblock on Highway 10. I don't care how he does it. I want them stuck. Yeah.